the Gaia GPS app is one of the best navigation apps for hiking. In this video, I'm going to go over its core features. I'm Mike, and this is Outside Chronicles. I love everything outside, and if you do too, you're going to want to click that subscribe button and hit that bell so you don't miss any future videos. Gaia GPS is both a web app and a smartphone app, supported on iPhone, iOS, and Android. What's cool about that is they're all synced together using your Gaia account. Gaia GPS comes in a free version, and with that you get most of the core functionality. You can discover new routes, plan a route, and record your data. It comes with what's called the Gaia Topo map, and it's actually a pretty good topographic map. It's a 40-foot contour map, which is actually pretty good. One of the big downfalls with that is you can't download it offline with the free version. In order to be able to get offline maps, you have to jump to their membership version. And in addition to offline maps, you get a few other maps and some other features offline. But really what you want is their premium version. With the premium version, you get customized maps, you can upload your own maps, but one of the real values of the premium version is you get all of the Nat Geo trail maps nationwide. These things are like $12 or $15 a piece, so right there pays for your membership just about. You also get some premium maps for backpacking, mountain biking, and skiing. I'm gonna show all of the core functionality of the free version of the app, and I'll point out where you need the subscription service. Let's jump right into the Gaia GPS app. By default, we go into what's called the map view, and it's just a map, and I just wanna point out a couple things here on this screen. There's this target right over of elevation, and if you click that, that's gonna center on your current location. And the other thing I wanna point out is this icon that kinda of looks like a bunch of stacked papers on top of it. That's your different map overlays. And you can see I have a whole bunch of different apps in here. And since this is the free version, if I click on one of these, it's gonna just say, I need the subscription. So the only map that we have is that Gaio Topo, which is that 40 foot contour. Also on this screen, you can do your different overlays and you can turn on what you wanna see or not see on a particular map. There's waypoints, routes, tracks, areas. You can also put a grid, so if you wanted to put a UTM grid on your map as you're going, you could turn that on. I'm gonna leave that off for now. I'll leave everything else on for now. I'll show you how that works later. So let's go back to the main screen. And now I'm centered on my house. So I'm gonna discover all of the trails that are near me. So I click on the Discover tab below and you can see there's a whole bunch of trails near my house. If I wanna explore this trail, let's say 18 Mile Creek, I can take a look at it. You can see I have distance, approximate time to hike it, elevation, I can click over and see the elevation profile, and I can also see if anybody rated this particular trail. One of the other cool things that you can do on this screen is if you click on these three ellipses up at the top, you can Google this, so it'll pop into a web browser and Google the trail for you. You can guide me, which will allow you to follow the route of the trail, or you can say, get me driving directions, and it'll pop up your mapping application and get you directions right to the trailhead. And if I click on the actual map, you can see I can say, show on main map, or expand preview map. So what I'm gonna actually do is, I'm gonna show it right on the main map. So now I'm in the main map, and I can see that route right on there. So also on the Discover tab, we can also search for different hikes. So let's say I want to search for Cascade Mountain, which is one of the easier high peaks that a lot of people begin with. So I searched for it, and I wanna bring that up. And just like the other trail, it has various pictures. I can take a look at the data of the actual hike, the elevation profile, the mileage. You can see how people rated this particular hike. And you can also see some nearby hikes. And the same thing holds true is I can click on the map and I can show it right on the main map. I'm gonna cancel that for now. So we're gonna plan a route and I'm gonna show you how to do it both in the app and on the web and how they sync together. 
So as I zoom in on the High Peaks region, you can see I have other routes that I've planned. We're gonna leave those on for now, but if you wanted to turn those off, you can turn them off with the map overlay. So Cascade Mountain is right here, and you usually hike Cascade and Porter together. So we're gonna plan that out. So we're gonna just click that plus at the top, click Create Route, and you can see this blue dot shows up on our screen. And what we wanna do is actually take that blue dot and drag it to our trailhead. And I'll zoom in here to make sure this blue dot is hovering over the top of the trail. Now we're good to go at the trailhead and we're gonna put another blue dot on Cascade Mountain by holding our finger right there. And you can see how it's snapped right to the trail. That's because we're in the mode hiking. If we do straight line, that's gonna give us the distance from the trailhead to the mountain summit line of sight. You can also plan cycling and driving. So I'm gonna keep it on hiking, because that makes most sense here. And now I'm gonna plan the route to Porter Mountain by just putting my finger on the mountain summit. So now we can see we have the whole route from Cascade to Porter, we have our elevation planned, and we're good to go. So we're just gonna save this, and um, I'm just gonna call it Cascade, and click Save. So now, if I wanted to bring that up in the future, I would just go over to my Save tab, and I would see Cascade. And it works the same way as the Discover. If I click on the map, I can say Show on Main Map, and I can see the elevation profile and distance information. We can change our activity if we wanted to call it hiking, save it there, and if we wanted to put any notes about it. So now let's go plan that same route using the web interface. So now I'm logged into my Gaia web interface, and you can see the map is very similar looking to what I had on the app. If I zoom in, you can see that we have our Cascade Porter route. If I click on that route, you can see the elevation information. I can drag my mouse over the elevation profile, and you can see where that elevation changes on the hike. We have other information. We can get our driving directions to the trailhead. And we can also export this to GPX or KML if we wanted to use it in another application like Caltapo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just archive this for now because we're going to create it again using the web app. So now our route is gone. To plan a new route, we're going to click this button right here, say Create Route. We're going to do this the same thing. We don't have the blue dot this time, but we do have this crosshair that comes up. And we're going to put that right over the trailhead. And there you see our blue dot actually comes up. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And you can, if you mouse, you can drag this back and forth. I'm going to click to Cascade Mountain. And you see it snapped to the hiking trail. We can do the same thing here as we can change that to straight line to get the straight line distance. But hiking makes most sense here. And now if we want to go to Cascade Mountain, we're just going to do that same thing. And you can see how it snaps and plans our route to Cascade Mountain. So I'm going to just save that route. I can edit the title. We'll call it Cascade. And now it's going to show up in our map. So while we're in the Gaia web app, I'm going to show you some of the functionality I showed you in the app and how to do it on the web app. So we have a similar icon that looks like pieces of paper on top of each other. This is our layers and overlays. And unlike the app, you can actually turn these maps on. And you can see we can add other maps. There's a ton of other maps. And the ones that you have to pay for have padlocks next to them. So you know that they're not freely available. But you have some of these cool maps available to you through the web app that's not available on the smartphone app. So I'm going to just turn on the Gaia Topo and show you how to do a waypoint and then I'll show you how to do it on the phone. So it's a little bit different on the web interface. It's actually a little bit easier on the phone. So you can actually drag this around and set that as your waypoint. But you can't edit the coordinates of the waypoint. You can save this waypoint one and then it'll sync up to the to the app but you can't edit the coordinates 
The best way that I've seen to add a waypoint based on coordinates is you actually search for it. So I have some coordinates in here and we'll let Gaia search for it. And you see it puts the pin with this little plus next to it. So if we click on that plus, now we have a waypoint and we can edit that waypoint based on those coordinates. So now let me show you how to do that in the app. What you do is you just click the plus at the top, you say add waypoint, and you can drag that around like we could on the web app, but unlike the web app, we can actually edit the latitude and longitude of the waypoint. And you can click save and name it and save it to a folder. So we're just gonna put that right there. The final bit of functionality I'd like to go over is how to actually record a track. There's two ways to do it. You could hit the plus and then click record track, or you can just click record right from this screen. And it starts recording, and if I click over to my trip, I get a whole lot of information. So I can get my average speed, my max speed, my pace, sunrise, sunset, my elevation, some good information. And if I see something really cool on the trail, I can click the camera icon, take a picture of it, use that photo, and now that photo is gonna be included in my track and in my web application. So we can stop our track by either hitting that green thing, we can pause it or finish it. So I'm gonna actually finish the track. As you can see, we can choose a title, choose what activity we had, we'll call that hiking, and we can choose the color of the line that we want it to show up, and then we can save it. And you can see the images saved with my track as well as the map. I wasn't moving, so we didn't get any, any actual recorded track. The free version of the Gaia GPS app is packed with a bunch of great features. If you don't have a handheld GPS device, I suggest bumping into that membership or premium edition where you can get those offline maps. The premium edition, and those Nat Geo maps is a really good value. I don't think you can go wrong with using the Gaia GPS app. I use it all the time, I love it, and I would highly recommend it to any hiker out on the trail. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to click that like button. If you wanna see other outdoor adventures, gear reviews, how-tos, be sure to click that subscribe button. That's it for now, I'll see you guys outside.